Wildcats, please stand for the morning prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, help me to see this holy season of Lent as a time of spiritual renewal rather than a time of desperation. Motivate me to reach a new level of experiencing your grace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May God bless our minds to think our best thoughts, our words to speak kindly to one another, our hearts to feel compassion, and our hands to reach out to one another in compassion and care. I promise always to do my best and to treat everyone with respect and kindness. I will follow the example of Jesus and his mother Mary in all things. Today I promise to live with St. Mary teachers. We are all one, united in Christ. Good morning, Wildcats. This is Andrew Tran with your weather update. Today you can expect Partly cloudy skies with temperatures reaching up to 50 degrees. In the evening, we will see temperatures hovering around 30 degrees. On this day in history, the record high was 75 degrees in 1983. The record for the lowest was 0 degrees in 1978. Now, for your weather word of the day, today's word is... Arctic air. Arctic air is an air mass that originates over Canada and brings cold temperatures to the United States. Well, that's all for me, Wildcats. Have a fantastic day. Bye! This is James Mullally here with your sports update. On Saturday, Notre Dame will play Virginia Tech at 1 o'clock. NBA responding to the coronavirus encourages fist bumps over a high five to lessen the chance to spread the disease. In golf news, Sunjay Ng, Ng gets first PGA Tour win at Honda Classic, the Tour's Rookie of the Year last season played a marathon schedule before or becoming the youngest ever to win the tournament. That is in a streaming service competing with ESPN Plus to build a Netflix for sports has announced to agree international expansion plans that will expand to over 200 countries. That's all for today, folks. Bye! Hello, today on Tea Time with Nena, we are going to be spilling the tea about Queen Bee, a.k.a. Beyonce. Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter is an American songwriter, s singer, record producer, dancer, and actress. Born on September 4th, 1981 and raised in Houston, Texas, baby, she is married to Jay-Z, a rapper and producer. She has three children, Blue Ivy, Rumi, and Sir. She has won 24 Grammy Awards and has been nominated 70 times, including her times with Destiny Child. Her fans are called the Beehive. They're really scary and dedicated. Just never get into beef with them on Twitter. Even Beyonce is scared of them. Well, that's it for Tea Time with Nana. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you next time. The lunch options for the day are chicken nuggets or corn dog. We have one birthday. Happy birthday to Jovan Minov. Now for your fun fact of the day. Did you know that McDonald's used to make bubblegum flavored broccoli? That's, That's all for us, Bobcats. Bye. Bye.